Hello, everybody, and welcome to AWB Off-Season Talk Show. This is going to be something that we do every every year. This is the first official one. I'm here with Brandon Piercy. Brandon, how are you today? Pretty good. How about you? I'm pretty good. It's pretty late at night right now. Pretty tired. I'm but, pretty gassed. Yeah, so we were we just showed up to the AAA fields for AWB, and we play, played some wiffle ball. How, I just want to talk about that for a minute. Uh Showing up there, how's it feel just to be down in the minor leagues and watch it? Um, it's a lot of fun. I mean, seeing guys um that might you know know like might have a chance going up to the big show, and it's a lot of fun seeing some talent down there. And all right, now we're gonna move on to the World Series. Ren, you are officially two-time World Series champion. Uh, the dogs went on to win win the World Series in four games after going up 2-0, losing game three, winning game four, take it home. Um, what are your just overall thoughts on the season, on the, just on the series as a whole? I think it was a lot of fun. Um, it was cool playing with some guys that I love. Um, but it was also cool getting that MVP in game two, but also seeing just – us celebrating, knowing last year this team was the lowest in the league, didn't even make playoffs, to go and get 10-plus wins and win the World Series is just a crazy thing. Well said. Um, the regular season, uh, how do you think that went for your team overall and yourself? That was a lot of fun. Um, really, that whole year was just me and Aiden. Um, we didn't have summers yet, and Caden was supporting but when we had him there, he was crazy. He's he's just nuts. I mean, he's insane. But me and you, um, we went crazy. I mean, that was such a fun season. I wish I could have done better to show that first overall draft pick. But, hey, we, we won a World Series, so it's all right. Yeah. Uh, so take me through the first AWB series you ever played. I'm not talking about the World Series. Your first official against the Bananas. Do you remember that? I think I do, yeah. It's the game where we lost game one nine nothing. To the bananas, and then we went we on came back. to Mercy Rule the next two games. And that first game after we lost big, um, was that like, do you think that was going to bring your team down in the season? Heck no. I mean, first game, it's it's wiffle ball, it's almost baseball. It's you can't take a loss as uh, something that you got to follow on. When you get a loss, you flush it down the toilet and find game two, game three. Like, once you see that game, it's like, all right, that first that was my first ever game. I know. Kind of a wake-up call. Yeah, it was a wake-up call. Like, let's go. So, yeah. Yeah, and you were pitching in that game. Was that a little rough, and did your control get out of hand, or was it just overall command? I mean, it didn't feel good knowing my first game I pitched terribly, but to know that that, wasn't, that was just my first game, it's not going to be my last, I felt fine. Very well said. Um, and then the playoffs. So obviously we got a first round bye. After watching the wild card from home, actually you were playing in the wild card. Uh, did you expect a certain team to make it? Did you want a certain team to make it? What were you thinking? I mean, I kind of wanted a Reaper Dogs matchup. That Not been, a big fan of that. That would have been sick. I have some little beef with that team, but mm. um, it's all fun. I mean, it was cool playing the Bison, knowing that they were. No offense, Wyatt, but terrible this season and came back and made it to the World Series. That's crazy. Yeah, I mean, but congrats to them. The Bison fought all year, and I'm really proud of the Bison. Yeah. But so this year in the World Series, game one went as smooth as can be as a Dogs fan and as a Dogs player or even a part of the Dogs management. Um, we just – we were clicking. We were doing everything that we could. Game one was just, like, one of the greatest wiffle ball games I've played in, and I bet you could say the same. And, uh, yeah, just take me through that game. Um, I'm pretty sure I was on the bump starting. Mm -hmm. um, got, I remember I got two outs, and I walked three on. And then I remember Kenny hit a ground ball to Aiden, and he made a great play. And that just no, – that first inning, the that top of the first inning just knew that something sparked that we were going to – we're in this World Series and just knew that this team clicked and that we were going to go off. Yeah, and after the back-to-back -back home runs, the uh, vibes were just immaculate. What did you think of that moment? 
that was so cool when Summers comes up to bat in his first game, hits a tank, and then and Aiden, one of his first in that yeah in bats too comes back. Aiden hits one. It's just cool knowing that this team is gonna do something. And then and then in the second inning, the Bison started to catch on to you, and they tied it up. Just uh, what were your thoughts going into that, and had, knowing that you're tied going into the last inning? It don't matter. We got a great offense. I don't think it really matters. We got a great offense, and nothing will change that. Which it definitely showed in the third inning where we came back and we won 4-2 to that game. Um, yeah, so you got your first career world, uh, playoff win on the mound. Before we go into game two, I just want to talk about last season when you came in as a rookie, just called up into the, into the Bananas organization, and you're playing with Kate Brockman in the World Series game one. This is crazy. You just sit on the couch, you get a phone call. Uh, you're just playing in the World Series, and you might be pitching. And what was what were your uh, what was your mindset when you had that call? Well, one, I was playing Rocket League. <laughs> I get a call from Caden saying that he I need to come up and play in a championship World sorry World Series game, and that just said, let's go, let's see what happens. And me and Caden got the trophy, and from there it's just look what it is now yeah that was a crazy world series it went to three and knowing that you beat the bison in both of your playoff games it's crazy um in both world series actually um i think your career against the bison is i think you're 10 and 2 against the bison in your career it's crazy yeah we lost. you're just the bison destroyer but <laughs> so and then you it was on the last out of the 2022 World Series, ground ball to Caden. Wesley running the first first base. You knew Caden had him by a mile. What what were you thinking during that moment? The second that ball came off the bat, I knew, let's go, game. I mean, that was something special for me and Caden. Second, I'm pretty sure we started going nuts. Yeah. And that was just so cool for me and him. I mean, Knowing that I just got called up and I just won a World Series, it was kind of shocking just knowing that I just won the World Series with one of my best friends. Like, that's so cool. And then, in the off season, you got traded to your two best friends' teams, the Dogs. Uh, at the time, it was Brandon Piercy. Traded, I got drafted. Drafted, yeah. It was Brandon Piercy, Kane Brockman, Aiden Freeman. Dream team. And then we Literally. ended up picking up Summers for the World Series, which he was definitely a good pickup. Yeah, awesome. And now let's jump into Game 2. Game 2. Um, I don't got much to say about Game 2 except for the third inning. I believe uh, Summers was on the bump in Game 2. And mm -hmm. it was... I just remember it closed. The second inning. The second inning. Um, it's a 0-2 count to Caleb with two outs. You're about to go get the lead in the third inning. And then, boom, the whole game changes off of a... Fastball inside, Caleb Corley drives for a home run, and it's one nothing. and then you're just defeated, and you knew your team could come back. And then in that inning, out myself had first and second with two outs down to our last strike, and there was a little tapper into the rocks that <laughs> came back fair, and you ended, and Summers ended up scoring. Did you think that was a foul ball, or was that fair? To be honest, I wasn't even looking, um, but once we went back in the review, uh, I don't even know what to say about that play, to be honest. <laughs> Game changing. It was a f funny play, but it worked. It was a whatever you want to call that a hit, a bunt, a, a foul ball, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. And then it worked. The pitch after that, it was a first pitch slider inside, and he turned on it and basically got the game winning two RBI single. And as that pitch was thrown, what were you thinking? Um, that was awesome. I mean, I don't know if you watched, but in that first game, we were struggling against Kenny. I yeah. mean, he was – we were all getting used to that slider, and it's it's nasty. But we got on it, and it, from there we just – we knew that we had it in us. And when I hit that ball, I just – I was so happy because just knowing that I played a whole season in my rookie season and did that, it, it just feels so good. Well said, and then we went on, and then it was bases loaded with the tying run at first base, I believe, and you came in to close, and then you walked one, and then it was 5-3 to three with the tying run, 
at second base, and you're in a 3-2 count to Caleb. It's a riser high. He swings. What were you thinking in that moment? Poop my pants. Um, <laughs> yeah, that pitch got away from me a little bit, and I'm just happy he swung at it. Um, but I think it was still a very executed pitch. It worked out, and that's all you need. Sometimes you just got to let the batter do it for you. And But that was a great team win. Um, that's what this team was made for is teamwork and just putting together at bats. Then we said the first game of the season was a wake-up call, and game three was definitely something to put it as a wake-up call. Yeah, I mean, you saw Wyatt come in. Won a great pitcher. I mean, hard to hit, especially at night. That's not very fun. But and We just got shut out that game. We yeah. had no offense. But that game, going into game four, just – it's all right. Like, we knew we're up 2-1. This don't mean nothing. Very well said. Um, then game four, you – it's not much to say. We just went out there and dominated. I was there for about an inning. You were there for an inning, then you had to bounce. But it was it was a good good game, and we ended up winning it. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, that's the World Series in a nutshell. But then the offseason got nuts. No. So – Greg Freeman was a free agent. If you're a manager, you're obviously trying to go after Greg Freeman. And I was talking to Greg, which is my dad, and my dad said that we needed, he if he was going to come to the dogs, he wanted to be the main man. And it was a tough task to handle, but I knew this team could be unstoppable if we had my dad on the team, no offense. Yeah. But then totally. he gave us tasks to get rid of Summers. And I knew Kate, uh, Summers and Brandon both wanted to manage a team. So I traded Brandon, yourself, to the Reapers. And, it, yeah, it was, as you know, the Reapers are not a well-liked team in this league. It's no offense. Yeah, and they got, they got a little beef, and I felt a little bit bad for sitting in there. And Brandon found his way out. Summers went on to manage the uh, Bananas and Brandon is a co-partner, and that makes up the Blue Bananas now. And what do you think of this offseason? And it's been a wild ride. I mean, I, I went, I was on three teams in about 15 minutes. <laughs> um, that was an emotional night. Um, I got, not crying, but just shock. I mean, I you got traded to three teams in one, in like 10 minutes. That just, but knowing when I got that call, Knowing that I'm going to the Reapers, I didn't feel too good. But when I got that call, now I'm going to the Bananas. I think we got something. I mean, that Dogs team is going to be unstoppable. But I think we got a good chance to fight against them. Do you have beef with the Dogs? Do you have beef with the Reapers anymore that they traded you away? Uh, Reapers, no. Dogs, no. I, I love the Dogs, and I always will. But it's a new Don't team. Don't worry. He'll be coming back next year. I'll find a way. <laughs> but new team. Um, and I, st- I still love the guys on that team, and it's nothing more than that. I still play baseball with them, so that's fun. Yeah, we're winning a lot of games in baseball right now. <laughs> and then in the two expansion teams, the Wizards are looking like a super good contender this year, and the Dingers do not look good right now, to say the least. Uh, they are projected to win one game, I believe. Mm-hmm. It's Kingsley mm-hmm. and Ryland. It is not a very good team, but I know they like each other, and they're going to have fun together. Excuse Brandon. <laughs> I'm munching. <laughs> he's, mu- he's a munch. Um, <laughs> I eat him for lunch. <laughs> and that's going to wrap up the podcast today. Um, thank you for listening, Brandon. Thank you for coming on. Thank you for inviting me. And we'll see you in episode two. Love you.